Hey flower friends, today we are going to pot up those petunias that we seeded not that long ago. And here is what's left of them. I had already potted up quite a few and um, it needed doing. You can see how crowded they've gotten in there, but they're doing great. They're healthy and it's time to give them a little more room. So I have some leftover recycled six pack containers. I would pot them on up into something a little bigger, but I don't have room on my plant shelf right now. And they have to be indoors because we're still getting very cold nights and will for many more weeks. So to save space, but let them have more space to grow, I'm gonna put them in six pack containers. These ones are a good size. They're not the little bitty ones. So they'll be great for them to grow up on. Now this is my DIY potting soil that I always use. And I just, I don't pre-moisten it because it makes it harder to get into containers. And uh, it's so easy just to set this once I've planted it up into a container of water and let it absorb it from the bottom. So I always like things easy. I don't make things hard. Me, I like things easy. So we're going to just do it that way. So I've got it pretty well full. And if I need to remove any, I'll just scoop some out with my little trowel. I love this little trowel. It's from Gardener Supply. And it's the perfect size for doing stuff like this. So I probably need to point you down so you can see what I'm doing. So right here are my plants. And right here is my container full of fresh potting soil. Now you can use, you don't have to do DIY potting soil. You can use any good quality potting soil you may have or buy at a store. Okay, so here's one of my petunias and I'm going to dig underneath of it or the two or three and then I'll just grab them by a, a sturdy leaf and pull them apart. See, it's got plenty of roots there. I make a hole, put it down in there, and I set the soil around it. I don't press hard because you can damage the roots. So I'm just pulling these apart. This one has soil on it still, so I might need to make a bigger hole. So I'll dig some of the soil out and over, set it down in there, and put the soil on top. And this is two here. See, I'm just going to pull it apart. There's roots on there. This will not hurt them as long as you're not tugging too hard. And this is a good loose mix. So it just, they pull apart real easy. Here's another one. This one still has a lot of the soil on it. And I just, and if I need to grab some more from over here to fill in more, I do. And I just work around all of this container. Loosen it up. And there's this one's, is that one? Yeah, that's just one. That's a really healthy specimen. Look at that thing. And we're gonna put it down in here. Dig out some, cause that has big roots. And bury it back. Bury all them roots. And this little one will go right here. So that's six transplanted and I will do the rest. Let's see, how many do I have left? I should count them. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, one of them will get its own little pot. All right, this one, I'll do it again. Fill it up. And then I'll continue to do that. I'll do that exactly the same way as I did the prior one. And then I'll show you what I'm gonna do. I'll set that over there out of your way. And then right here is a deep dish. I'm gonna put this in here and I have my watering solution. I have some organic Rev in it, which I'm finding is very helpful. Okay, what I do once I have them all potted up, is then I give them a good drink of this is water mixed with this. This is called 
Dakota Rev or Organic Rev and it's a growth stimulant and it's been very impressive for me in aiding in transplanting. It seems to reduce transplant shock and it's as if they've never even missed a beat. So I let this, I not only poured over the top to get the, the plant settled in and the soil around the roots, because you could just do a real gentle pour, but then I have some in the bottom and it continues to absorb and it gets really, really well watered in. So that, my friends, is how easy it is to pot up your petunia seeds, seedlings. And um, you will have so many, you don't know what to do with them. One package I seeded had 35 seeds and the other had 10. So, uh, so I got 45, if all of them grew. I, didn't, I haven't counted them yet, sorry for all the racket. Um, but that's how many seeds I had once I looked at the package. Both of these were in the lilac family. So I didn't bother marking. Well, actually one's a double with lilac edging, but a double white. And so I was planning on putting them together, so I didn't mark them as far as the color since I put them all in the same container to start. Okay, there's a little bitty one next to this larger one. Anyways, so normally you would mark your containers of what color if you wanted to have a specific color in a specific area. So that being said, I'm just going to finish these all up and then I'll go put them back on my light rack. We still, but right now today, it's 70 degrees today. This week, the next few days, it's supposed to be in the upper 60s, around 70. Um, that is unusual even for us. We usually have two weeks in February that we always call a fake spring. And then March hits and we go right back to winter weather. So it's gonna stay cold here, cold enough that I can't really keep these in the greenhouse for at least another month. I don't heat the greenhouse, it's just too expensive. And all those little homemade DIY jobs don't heat this space enough. I've seen some where you put a terracotta pot over a candle, etc. It doesn't do enough to keep my plant safe when it is so cold. Um, so I will wait until the sun's in the sky longer, heats it up better in here, and the heat is retained better. And then I can put all my seedlings out here in the greenhouse rather than under my light racks, and I can start more tender uh, annuals and perennials. Did you know that petunia is actually a perennial? Just a very tender one. Um, and I have one that's in on my light rack that is blooming away. It is just doing fantastic. And I'm enjoying it thoroughly in the winter. Anyways, I just wanted to give you the shout out for the Organic Rev because I'm really finding it helpful. I am not sponsored. They have not paid me a dime. They don't know who I am. But I will link to it in my the description box below for you. So if you would like to try it too, you can pick some up. I just would like to know what new seed or flower are you trying to grow from seed this year that's new to you. Um, this year I'm going to try to grow more Nicotiana. Last year I bought the plants. Um, I didn't try seed starting them but this year I have a bunch I want to start from seed because the one I had was it bloomed like non-stop all summer. It never quit and it was wonderful in the garden and I would like more. So I will see you in the next video. Bye.